Welcome back to the Transport Bandits channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff or Mr. Dimples. Mr. Dimples. All right, let's just get one thing out of the way first, all right? I want you guys to notice something. Yeah, just to get that out of the way, all right? Get that out of the way? Yeah, there's a new hat on my head, all right? Look at that hat. Take a look at that. That this, is a Resistol. This is my new winter hat. <laughs> and All I'm right. just wearing my old That's trusty. Done. Yeah, ladies, control yourselves. How can they resist that? They can't. <laughs> Look at that I'm hat. I'm just asking. I'm just asking for the ladies to control themselves. All right. I think they can control themselves. I don't think so. I think so. I don't think so. Now, if you can't control yourself, put it in the comments below. He'd love to hear from you. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> in any case All let's right. move right along next thing yeah we sound better we sound better because i've got this thing yeah it look, looks look, look at this thing and, and this thing see wait let's take a look at that i got this thing look at this uh, yep we have new microphones and I've, and I've got this thing and yes it's from the future <laughs> so we are hoping that from here on out, our videos may sound a little more professional. Our and audio we, will be of a higher quality. I'm hoping, we're not running right now, but when we are in the truck together and we make um, videos, it won't have so much of that irritating background truck noise. This thing turns me into the bionic man. Bionic man, well then that, yeah. what does that make me? The million dollar woman. A million dollar woman. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I'd be I think living a lot better life if I have a million dollar woman. Trust me, she's cost me more than a million. <laughs> what? I don't know what I'm going to do with him. In any case, say hello to our traveling companion, Mr. Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones. He doesn't have a new fancy microphone. He is sporting his fairly recent hat, though. Yeah. His Texas hat. He's our bandit companion. He. He doesn't talk much. He does. When he does talk, he speaks to me, and I tell you what he says. He never talks to Cheryl. Does he? I don't care. He doesn't care. You know why? He's dead. <laughs> okay, so goodbye, Mr. Bones. All right. <laughs> anyway, we are in the middle of a run. We, are, we have already been running for two yeah. and a half days. This is a very stressful run, shall I say. Guess what I have? I have a 35 foot Class A hurricane that I am driving across the oh, country yeah. from Goshen all the way to Pasco, Washington. Well, she's not telling you, she's got it made. All right, she's, Finally. Living, she's living in class hey, back they there. They just watched the video of the rattle can yeah but okay. now but now she's living in class back there me finally i'm hauling i don't even want to say it say it a park model <laughs> a 35 foot long 14,000 pound GD, gvwr park model park model across but, the country yeah, all may, the way to vancouver island it may be 35 feet long but it's also 35 feet tall it's really tall. We're going to take a look at it. And I have taken two other uh, motorhomes prior to this video because I didn't do videos on those because we were booking it. Well, we were making some money. I'm having plenty. We were of, getting I, it done. I'm having plenty of issues with the park model. Yeah, you are. All right. My <laughs> truck even warned me. My truck warned me. I know your truck warned you. He called me and said, my truck is warning me. It had a message come up and said, trailer sway, slow down. Slow and down. it slowed me down. But wait, do you, you want me to tell you how slow we are going? If it takes you normally three hours to get there going 65 miles per hour, it is taking us five hours. Listen. We are averaging between 50 miles per hour and, and 60. 60 miles per hour. We're not going over 60 miles per hour right. anywhere with this park model. What happened is... Why is it... Why People are saying right well, now, they if put, they don't know, they I don't know, know why are exactly. we going so Here's slow. Here's what happened. They put that park model together, and then they just stuck some wheels under it and said it'll roll. 
What it, what, so yeah, it rolls, but not good. All right. Now, what about the people who don't know what we're talking about? What is know. a park model? It's like a, it's like a tiny house. It's a tiny house on wheels. It's meant to go to a campground and stay parked. Yeah. It stays yeah. in a resort. It stays in a in a park. It's not meant to be mobile going yeah. from a camper place to a camper place to a camping site to a camping site it goes to one place and then it stays parked so yeah, it's more like one, a house you know, i pulled that other one before and it wasn't too bad but we only pulled it like 500 miles yeah you but were still this one is particularly bad all right it doesn't track right the wheels are all wonky <laughs> it's just bad but you were pulling this how many miles are you pulling it for? 2,300 miles. 2,300 miles from Goshen, Indiana to Duncan, Vancouver Island. We even have to get on a ferry with it. And I am going to be so thankful to get rid of it. I may celebrate. <laughs> we are going to celebrate. We're going to do a reset on Vancouver Island. And so, then we got great news. Yeah. We found, we uh, even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. My dispatcher called me. She said, hey, do you want to back haul all the way to Indiana from out there where you're at? Oh, yeah. And I was like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> no, he did not say that. <laughs> we have a back haul all the way from Abbots Ford, British Columbia, all the way back to Goshen. Cha-ching! That's how you get it done. Mr. Bones is a little bit upset about it. I don't think he is. He is because normally when, we're, when we drop the cameras off and on the way back home, he takes that time off and relaxes, but now he's not going to be able to do that. All the whole way out here, he's been in charge of the airlift, the airlift controller. And you saw that on our airlift video. If we didn't have those airlift bags on it, this truck, it would be a disaster. It would be a disaster, right? Because we don't have any squat. Right, right now, I've got them on 62 pounds, and that's working real good. That's good, but we are having to go immensely slow. Uh, and I leave this controller up here with Mr. Bones, and he makes sure those airbags stay on whatever I got them set on. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he's obsessed with this controller. He never leaves its side. <laughs> he called me last night while we were driving. He's like, Mr. Bones is staring at the controller again. <laughs> he was. I mean, he takes his he takes his work seriously. He does. But in any case, what are you laughing at? Mr. Bones, <laughs> in any case, we didn't have any wind yesterday. We were able to do a, still only do about 60 miles an hour because that park model pulls like a parachute. It doesn't matter what it weighs. We've pulled yeah. heavier stuff than that. Yeah. It doesn't, it, the weight really isn't a factor. It's the aerodynamics. It's the way it's it. designed. It's where the wheels are put. I don't know. They were high when they built it. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, it's it's pulling a house behind your your truck, basically. Yeah. So a house that somebody was high when they built. Okay. So you think they were high when they built it? Yeah, she's giving her uncomfortable laugh. I am uncomfortable. Well, she's not sure if I should say I'm that. I'm not sure if you should say that or not. What if the manufacturers listen to you saying something <laughs> like that? Maybe that's. Like, we don't Maybe. have people smoking, getting high. I didn't I'm say they were that. smoking. Maybe they will listen to that and, and have their people put together park models better. And no, no the, the, it's really not the manufacturer. It's the designers. They need to design those things so they're a little more aerodynamic, for Pete's right. sake. So the engineers and designers were high. Okay. <laughs> we'll say that. <laughs> okay, but you guys... You guys want to take a look at them before we deliver, right? Because we're already halfway across the nation. We're in Billings, Montana right now. Yeah. And uh, we're going to travel on to, uh, I've already called on the phone and got our permits for Idaho. And after I deliver mine, i got to get your permit for British Columbia. Yep. And Charlotte will do whatever she's going to do with the video. I'll be here fighting that thing. No, you're going to show them around the park model. And Mr. Bones will be sitting here. Watching keeping, the airbags. <laughs> watching our airbags. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at them. Here's a little statistic for you, because they're probably going to want to know. A little statistic. Statistics. In my 35-foot Class A motorhome, 
at 60 miles per hour with no wind, I'm averaging 9.1 miles per hour. That's pretty good. I'm getting two gallons to the mile. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> he is not getting two gallons to the mile. Yesterday, you were averaging right at around nine, right? Yep. But then we hit a little bit of, we've hit a 17 mile an hour headwind. Yeah, that's not a little bit of headwind. That's a big headwind for this thing. And now I'm getting seven. You're getting seven now. Yeah. Okay. Now, on this part model that Jeff has, that we're about to show you, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, we have the invoices, we have the paperwork. That thing is worth $67,000. Oh, that's worth every penny of that. Mm -hmm. But you know how much my hurricane is going to be worth? My hurricane sell manufactured suggested retail price, two hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. So I'm taking baby care of it. I'll give them sixty five thousand dollars for this thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just to get it off the truck. Yeah, just to get it off the truck. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go take a look at those units. Come on. All right. So let's go inside the park model and look at it. You know, it is meant to be parked. So maybe it's better once it's parked. All right, go ahead. Let's, let's take a look at this. We're going in from the side door. Now I'll be back up and I'll get an overall shot. This is the front. So let's go on inside. First, the door opens up to the bedroom. Yep. And this bedroom is a slide, right, Jeff? Yeah, this bed's way too short. My feet will be hitting this all the time. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. But it slides out, so you would have like a bay window up yep. front here. And then on, then you have your, this is a, a closet area here. Uh -huh. And you step up and go right here. We have, um, it seems to be a the, loft area. The steps here, and there's a loft up here for elves. Elves? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but this is because the uh, headroom is only like two and a half feet. Yeah, it's for elves. But it has like a little twin bed up here. You need to build your dogs a great home up there. It's pretty cool up here. Look at this place. And then on this side, you have an open loft over the living room. Okay, let's go back downstairs. This is the bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's a bathroom. There's it's got a shower. Room. I think I could fit in that shower. Since it's round and it's got these doors, yeah. I like that. Pretty sturdy doors and, and a way to lock those down. Now we can't, we are never allowed to put the slides out. So, so we can't go back there and check that out. We can't go back out. there, but what I can do is I can put the, um, the camera in there. The camera through the little mm -hmm. hole here. And you can see there's your stove area, and then the refrigerator has the cardboard in front of it. You've got the microwave and the nice light fixtures and the couch area and the dining room and the sink. So these are pretty nice um, tiny homes, if you want to call it that. Um, there's a big color TV on the wall back there. And um, I'm guessing this would be the pantry area that would be a slide as well, right? Yeah. No, this is permanent, the pantry yeah. area. And then there's all your master controls. And I'm not sure what road vac interior. Oh, that's a, vac that's a vacuum.
have stopped for the evening, finally. Made it all the way across to Missoula. We are staying here at the Flying J here in Missoula. I'm parked right next to my honey, which is right there. And I don't sleep in here. So I will get in the back of the truck. So he is gonna go take a shower while I fix up the truck. I'll take my shower in the morning and we'll head out and take this thing, this wonderful class A and it drives great. But after driving all day, I'm ready to stretch out in the back of that truck. So good night for tonight. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We are rolling towards Idaho. Have a good morning, everyone. Or night, if it, you're watching at night.
station five miles from my drop off. Really? <laughs> oh, brother. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Well, look at that. I do believe we are delivering to a camping world. We never deliver to a camping one. delivered, and he's checking me in. Remember to get your placards off the sides and your plate off the back. Leave the unit exactly like you found it, completely clean. Nothing of yours is left in there. Pick up all of your trash. Okay, I've got it all delivered. We're right here under the big American flag. We got it all checked in. I don't have my new microphone on, so there's a lot of background noise here. Sorry about that. But we got delivered. I've got my, the guy is checking me in right now. He'll sign my paperwork and I'll submit that and get paid today on Friday. And then we are getting Jeff's big rig up to Vancouver Island. And that'll be on the next video. Hopefully we'll get it there. Yeah. Not there yet. <laughs> God bless America. God bless America. Thanks for watching Transport Bandits. What Frank, do they want to do, Jeff? Subscribe. Oh, Get the finger out of there. <laughs> All right. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. We're headed up to Vancouver Island, and we're going to be taking a ferry to get there with the park model. That'll be fun. All right. Transport bandits out. out.